teased. If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number nine. As you can see, we have all the figures here. We got guys on stretchers, guys in wheelchairs. We got Sami Zayn with a neck brace. We got glorious Bobby Roode. We have the Demon King Finn Balor back there. We have all kinds of stuff going on. And um, to be honest with you, there's not that many switches. We're just having to use a bunch of different parts here. But I promise you, in the end, it's going to look really, really flames what we're trying to do here. Um, I'm going to take you guys through everything the Finn Balor isn't going to be going through surgery that's just something that I wanted to show you guys because I'm actually kind of proud of it um, I, I sculpted my first beard ever and I tweaked it a little bit and now that is the final result back there so I want to take a look at that before we get into the surgery um, and I'm going to show you that and then we'll talk about what kind of switches we're going to do all right guys so here's the Finn Balor head scan I took the top talents Finn Balor head and what I did was uh, I've always wanted a long beard Finn Balor you know Mattel hasn't given us that head scan yet so I took it and I molded a beard on there, repainted the hair, gave it a fade on there, and then, of course, just sculpted the beard, painted it up, and this is what I'm left with. Very happy with the result. I really like the Finn Balor head skin, and uh, I think it looks really sick, so I cannot wait, you know, to make more of those in the future. And again, when, the, when this figure hits retail, I'm going to buy 862 of them to make all of his non-demon attires, but uh, really happy with the way that Finn Balor head skin came out, and I, I hope you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think of it. Um, so, Finn Balor's done with surgery. Surgery, sir, you can go check out and uh, go home and get well rested and, you know, try to get out of that grave that uh, Kenny Omega put you in. But uh, today we got some other surgery going on, and I guess I can go ahead and take you guys through what we're going to be doing here in today's surgery video. You'll notice we have a slew of figures, and the first guy we got is Carl Anderson. He's in the wheelchair. We're going to take him out real quick. What we need Carl Anderson for is just his boots. We're going to be popping his boots off, and we're going to be putting them on the NXT Bobby Roode because I think that the Bobby Roode figure will look a lot better with white boots. So we're going to be popping these white boots over here. I guess I'll just switch the black ones over here so that the Carl Anderson's not bootless. So that's that is the first swap we're going to be doing there. Make Bobby Roode look even more glorious uh. with his white boots. And then uh, what we got going on over here is we're going to be taking this Ty Dillinger, the Elite 57 Ty Dillinger. We're going to be popping his arms off. And then we're going to be popping this Sami Zayn arms off, the Elite 63 Sami Zayn. We're going to take both of these figures, pop their arms off. We're also going to be popping these arms off of this 1, 2, 3 kid. And then we're going to be popping the hands off of this Dean Ambrose. Now stay with me right here. What we're going to do is switch the bare arms over to Ty Dillinger. So the bare arms go over here. The black wrist tape will then go on to the 1, 2, 3 kid. The white wrist tape will go on to the Sami Zayn. And then the hands from Dean Ambrose will go over to the 1, 2, 3 kid. That way... Sami Zayn will have that heel look, you know, he'll have the hand tape because it's thicker over here. You know, you're probably saying, Trey, why don't you just switch the arms with the 1, 2, 3 kid or the Dean Ambrose. Why don't you switch the, the Dean Ambrose arms with the Sami Zayn? That's because, look at the wrist tape, it's a lot thicker on the 1, 2, 3 kid. More accurate for Sami Zayn and his heel moments uh, before he got injured with the Yep movement and Kevin Owens. So that's what we're going to be doing. A lot of arm switching right here, but it'll look really fun. Like, look at Ty Dillinger's leg, guys. I want you to take a look at this. Look at this right here. That's the thigh swivel. Look how loose that is. I'm barely even turning the boot, and the whole thigh swivels. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do something about that, guys. We're gonna have to pop that leg off in a new, another video, and I'm gonna have to put some Mod Podge on that or something, because that's just absolutely atrocious. I mean, my God, that is just. Look at this one. It's just the boot that turns. The whole leg turns over here. Good God. Let's get it. Let's get into these switches. So the first switch that we're going to be doing, guys, is the boots. We're going to start off with Carl Anderson and Bobby Roode. You guys know we have the trusty white hair dryer. I'm just going to turn it on, and we're going to get these switches going. All right, guys, we're going to see if that's long enough. Hopefully it is. We're going to pop off Machine Gun Anderson's boots real quick. So we got the one boot off there other boot is good there now let's see if bobby's will pop off bobby's one boot's gone bobby's other boot is gone and now is this the right boot which side's that that is the left boot so i believe it should just pop right in just like so so we got the one boot oh snap you don't want him to go back or snap his ankle in half so we got those boots on and now we're going to switch over to carl anderson's one black boot and another black boot and i just snapped his ankle so here's bobby Roode and carl anderson we'll take a closer look at them when we're all done there so we got carl anderson and bobby Roode all nicely done 
Next up, what we're gonna do is I guess I will go ahead and pop the hands out of this Dean Ambrose, so we're gonna have to heat this up real quick. And I guess while I'm at it, I can go ahead and maybe, I don't know, I could possibly heat up everything at once. I, I'm not completely confident in it, but I guess I can just try and heat it all up at once. I'm gonna try and stack it right here, and it's just gonna be a big, hot mess of just heating up plastic. It's probably I'm probably gonna have to run it for a minute, but uh, I'm gonna see if we can do it all in one. I highly doubt we can, but we're, we're gonna try it anyway, and um, just see if we can knock out a bunch of birds with uh, one stone. Trusty white hair dryer, let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just see. We're gonna test it. So one, two, three kids up first. Pop this arm off. Well, actually, let's pop his hands out first because uh, we won't be using these hands. So we'll pop his hands out first. Those popped out. Maybe the rest will. Uh, let's see, get the arm off. Okay, got the one arm. Got the other arm, I'm pretty sure. Yes, the second arm is off. We're, we're off and running, we're off and running. Can we get Ty's arm off? Yes, we did, we got his other arm. Can we get the other one? Can, can we get the, can, got it? All right, now uh, I guess I can go ahead and just pop this over on one, two, three, kid. That way we can save some possible valuable time there. So popping the black arms onto one, two, three, kid here. I actually think this looks better as far as uh, Compared to the white wrist tape, I really like the black wrist tape better. Um, so now we have to pop the bare arms onto Ty Dillinger. So one Sami Zayn arm and the second Sami Zayn arm. Um, now we can pop it over to Ty Dillinger. So now he'll have the bare arms, which is more accurate for Ty Dillinger. You guys can see right here. Pop that arm up here and the left arm up here. Just like so. And then pop the these arms, the white thicker wrist tape over on Sami Zayn. So we got the, is, is it on? Is that on? I think it's on. And then we're going over to the right arm. Can't see if it, all right, I believe that's it. And then the last thing we have to do is pop off Dean Ambrose's hands, which come off pretty freaking easy. And then uh, maybe we can pop one, two, three kids' hands into Dean Ambrose. That way, Dean Ambrose isn't handless in the crowd. Wow, that actually went on way easier than I expected. So we got Dean Ambrose's hand in there. We got, I don't think this is gonna go in. Oh, oh, it did go in. So Dean Ambrose is fine. Everybody's looking beautiful right now. Now all we have to do is get Sami Zayn's thicker wrist tape or hand tape into the holes here. Let's see if we can get it in there. Oh Christ, I think we're gonna hit a wall. Are we gonna hit a wall? Damn it, Brad, we did hit a wall. Now I'm gonna have to heat up these holes and uh, yeah, I guess we could we could take the neck brace off. He's not even injured, um, or at least his neck's not injured. His shoulder's injured, but uh, now we can. Uh, I guess we got to reheat up these holes before we can pop these hands in. All right, guys, should be long enough to pop these Sami Zayn uh, hand tape hands in here. Uh, Ah, Christ. All right, I got the right hand in, now the left hand, if it'll just pop in there. And bamsies my lambsies. Looks, well. oh yeah, Brad, that is absolutely fresh. So now, Sami Zayn's all good. Let's go ahead and readjust our camera and I'll show you guys everything we got. All right, guys, here we have everything that we did here today besides Finn Balor, we can go ahead and get him in here because he's looking fresh to death too. Love that freaking bearded head scan, freaking gorgeous. But um, I guess we can start with the crappy stuff. I mean, Carl Anderson, I just needed your white boots. So, I mean, this isn't really a fix-up. I mean, I guess you could call it a fix-up. Um, but, yeah, that's that's not really anything there. So, Carl Anderson's going back in the bin over there. Uh, Dean Ambrose, all I did was take off your, your hand tape there, sir, so you can go back into the MDT crowd. One, two, three, kid. I mean, he's pretty fresh, actually. This turned out to be actually a pretty good fix-up for him, even though it wasn't meant for him. It was literally just getting those arms off of Ty. But it actually worked out well because it's the black wrist tape ties into the black knee pads, kick pads, and all the logo work. So, very nice looking uh, one, two, three, kid, or X-Pac there for that fix-up. Getting into the three main successful surgeries, guys, we have Bobby Roode here, and Bobby Roode is looking absolutely glorious with his white boots. I've seen multiple people do this fix-up. I'm not the first by any means, but I am happy with the way this came out. I love the black and silver with the white and everything. I think the white boots really pop it off better. 
um, looking like a daggum, I don't know, like an early 2000s or Attitude Era type guy moving in here. I don't know, the white boots just sort of make him look like he's not from this generation or something, but he's looking pretty good. Love the way Bobby Roode looks, so he is looking absolutely beautiful. Sami Zayn actually came out way better than expected. I really like the uh, wrist tape look. I don't know why Mattel didn't give us arms with these hands and wrist tape. I think it would have been way better. You know, he did start wearing the hand tape with the thicker wrist tape when he turned heel and was running around with Kevin Owens before he got injured. So I really don't know why they gave us bare arms, but I am actually kind of glad they did because this fix-up looks absolutely beautiful. And then it even ties in better because uh, you put the blank arms over here on Ty Dillinger, and if you guys notice, uh, t t MDT, why is this such a big deal, man? All you did was put bare arms under Ty Dillinger. Well, Brad, if you're looking close enough, you guys know that these hands interchange. So you take the fists out, you go over to your top talent, Finn Balor, and you grab his entrance hands, and you plug those in, and you don't botch it on camera. You plug in the right hand, you plug in the left hand, and holy shnikes, guys, you got a perfect freaking 10 fix-up Ty Dillinger, and look how freaking beautiful that is. My God, how perfect is this Ty Dillinger? And I didn't even think of this. This was all my boy Cody from Steinsenberg Customs on Instagram's idea, but I told him I was going to steal it, and I totally did, but I'm giving him the credit for it. But what a beautiful looking fix up, guys. Holy Christ, that is beautiful. Perfect 10 Ty Dillinger can now be perfect 10 because uh, he's got his hands on there. So these are easily the three stars of the show. The Sami Zayn looks perfect um, for right before he got injured. The Ty Dillinger, I mean, it's a perfect 10. What can you say? Look at it. I mean, it's freak. I, I am in love with it. One of my favorite fix ups now in my collection, besides this bum ass leg that we're going to fix later. And then, of course, we have our glorious Bobby Roode with the white boots. And that I, I'd say this is a damn good successful surgery on episode number eight, nine. I don't remember. But that's going to do it for today's figure surgery, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Let's go ahead and get Finn Balor in here so you guys can uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you think of old Finn Balor. My God, he needs a new direction. I miss Finn Balor. Please just give us Finn Balor back. I want Universal Champion push Finn Balor. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you think of the fix-ups and the surgery here today. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Freaking perfect 10, would you? Look at that ish.